Hey guys, it's me again. Um, just a brief rant today. And um, before I get started, I uh, just want to say that if you guys want to support my channel, um, there's absolutely no link on the description of this video or in any of my channels. Because, um, you know, whatever quote unquote ministry I'm doing, you know, I'm not spending money to do this. I'm using this cheap phone to record my videos. I'm not doing any special productions. And even if I was, so what? You didn't ask me to do it, right? Just like nobody asked those guys to um, make their channels and now they're asking for money. And I think it's really, really bad witness for, um, you know, to get into YouTube ministry to preach the gospel and supposedly um, talk about the science of the rapture and all that, speculate, and then um, beg for money. You know, yeah, you are begging for money if you have those links on your channel. And um, yeah, go make tents. If you're going to get into ministry, whether it's on YouTube or um, becoming a pastor somewhere, you know, you know what, forget the pastor part. Um, there are no real pastors today, not biblical ones anyway. They're all in for the money. There are very, very few exceptions. Um, one exception that comes to mind is J.D. Farag. And sorry if I mispronounce his last name. But, you know, in spite of being within the 501c3 system, I think he goes against the stream. He's not dead fish. Um, he talks about the rapture because that's the, the real role of a pastor today. The only thing we need to be focusing on right now is the return of Jesus Christ. And by the return, I'm not talking about the second coming. I'm talking about the rapture when he um, comes back for, for the saints, for his bride, we who have put our faith in Jesus and his completed work on the cross. And um, that's the only thing that pastors should um, be focusing on, get people saved, because that arc door is closing. And um, speaking of JD, um, in his late, latest video, I, I find it really interesting that he was talking about basically the, the same topics that I've been um, tweeting about this past week, basically that everything we're seeing today is theater, no different from the WWE. The good guys and the bad guys, you know, they're all on the same team. They're all, well, they're all working for the same company, okay, just like the WWE. And um, as JD mentioned, you know, behind the scenes, you know, they're, they're all having a toast, whether it's Trump and the Obamas, the Bidens, the Clintons, they're all on the same side ultimately, and there's, they just are. It's all theater, and um, it's interesting that I was um, tweeting about that prior to watching um, Farag's video um, last night, and um, yeah, so um, I think it's the Holy Spirit moving. I really do. So you know, those who are tuned in and are truly watching for the return of Jesus Christ, I believe that the Holy Spirit will speak to us. Um, those who hate his appearing will always quote, nobody knows they are the hour. And, um, you know, that passage has absolutely nothing to do with the timing of the rapture. So, um, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not here to, um, argue, f you know, for it. I know the truth. Those who belong to Jesus know the truth. Those who hate Jesus and pretend to be Christian love twisting that passage. Nobody knows the day or the hour because to them... That basically means it can happen in a thousand years. It wouldn't make a difference. And they love this world. They want to stay in this world for as long as possible. And the very thought of the rapture happening in their lifetime is a bummer to them because they have all these wonderful plants. They love this world. They love their money or what, what have you. So um, anyone who tells you nobody knows, or nobody knows the day or the hour is either ignorant or hates Jesus, and it's just pretending to be Christian. That's it. Those are the only two possibilities, okay? Anybody who quotes you, nobody they knows that they... <laughs> I keep fumbling it because it's not my favorite verse. That's why I keep fumbling it. Nobody knows that they are the hour. Whoever quotes that to you, either A, hates his appearing, or B, completely ignorant and doesn't deserve to be listened to. So, um, yeah, I really don't have much else to say today except um, the things that are happening right now. Um, I think it's just part of the birth pangs. Um, the good guys are absolutely losing, and the good guys being those who belong to Jesus. Um, evil is winning. Evil is dominating this world. But all, all that just means that, means that uh, we're out of here soon. So guys, keep looking up. Our redemption draws near, okay? The birth pangs are here. They're not going anywhere. 
but we are. Uh, until next time, and hopefully there won't be a next time, but, um, you know, 